but f me. <laughs> Good morning, so it's Friday. Um, Harry's working in the Blue Mountains today, so I'm gonna hop in the van, drive up there with him and jump out somewhere. I'm thinking Wentworth Falls, so yeah, we'll see when we get there. West Ham are playing today, so I've got this on for now. Gonna watch the game and then I'll swap my top when I get there. But yeah, see you there. So we've made it, well, I've made it to Wentworth Falls. Uh, Harry's just dropped me off to go to work. Um, we're here now, so I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna walk around. I think it takes about an hour to get down there and back, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, just at the first look out here, bloody gorgeous. So yeah, I'm gonna head down there now, see the waterfall and yeah, take you with me. Cheers. I'm also very happy because my team won, watched them on the way here. Now I've changed my top, so. It's not too hot today, there's a nice breeze, it's quite, well it's a bit chilly actually, but yeah, I'm sure it'll get colder when I'm down in the forest there. But yeah, let's go see it. So I can hear it, that's a good sign. I can see it through the trees. It looks beautiful. It's in two beautiful red birds already. It's a good start. I think I'm doing that one. Getting flashbacks to when we were here before. Lots of steep steps coming up now. So we've made it to what seems to be the first bit of the waterfall. You can get right up to it. But it looks like it drops down there to maybe the main bit of the waterfall. Um, very pretty though, love it. So I think I've got to the main bit now. Um, as you can see, where I currently am standing is right at the top. Uh, it's very nice here, but I'm hoping I can go down to the bottom. I'm not sure, but I'm going to carry on walking once I've sort of taken in this lovely waterfall, so yeah. So many walks and different trails here. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> and that's just a sheer drop. It's an amazing point to look at the waterfall here. It's so windy that the wind is actually going up the waterfall as opposed to going down, obviously. Genuinely blown away. I mean, look at this for a bloody view walk. Look at this. This is honestly mind blowing. I've just got to this cliff edge here looking over the mountain and you've got the falls just there. I'm being careful because it's quite scary. <laughs> this is honestly mind boggling. I can't, my hair's everywhere, but it's really windy up here and I just can't get over these views. I'm going to perch on this little seat here and just take it in for a minute. <laughs> honestly, if you're in Sydney, New South Wales, anywhere around here, do not miss the Blue Mountains. It's honestly one of the best things, probably the best thing I've done in Australia so far. It's just, you can't put it into words really, you have to actually see it yourself. I was watching videos before I came here, I'm like, oh yeah, it looks amazing. But actually being here, it's just blowing my mind. Everywhere you look, it's just, when you're looking down at the trees, it looks high, but then you remember but the trees are bloody massive as well. So it's one hell of a drop. So I'm not gonna do this trek as the sign says it takes about three to four hours and Harry's picking me up in just under an hour. So 
I've seen an amazing view, probably the best view I'm going to have here. Um, so now I'm going to head back up um, and try and get back to the car park before Harry gets here. I'll probably stop along the way, but... Around every corner is a mind-boggling view. Um, have I told you to come to the Blue Mountains yet? <laughs> it's sick. Look at this hair though. I'm losing it as it is. I don't need that wind to blow it off. Now you see it back. Now I don't know if I've shared this little thing me and my dad have done forever. Every place we go, we collect sand and put it in a little jar. I've not really shown it, well I haven't shown it here on my channel before, but I'm going to start including it. So, where better to do it than the Blue Mountains, Wentworth Falls. Let's get a bit from by this waterfall. I forgot the pot, so I have to put it in this little bag which has got holes in it. So, hopefully it survives the way home so I can put it back in the pot and then take it back home. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm still right by the top of the falls. I'm going to get a bit of sand from down here. Look at that. In the bag it goes. In the bag it goes. Now here comes the fun part of walking all the way back up. <laughs> These last two videos have just been me showing you all how unfit I am. So I need to change that. <laughs> so Harry's just told me that he's not going to be here for like another hour now. So I'm going to go on the Weeping Rock Circuit. Just going to walk down that for a little bit, see, see what that entails. Okay, so I've just got to where this first initial waterfall is on this weeping rock circuit. It looks really nice. The staircase ends at the bottom of the waterfall, which I'll show you in a sec. And then another staircase starts going up the side of the waterfall. So it looks a bit wet. Hopefully I don't slip. Yeah, we'll see what's at the top. Honestly, wow, I don't know if you can hear me, but f me. <laughs> so yeah, it might not be the biggest or most impressive waterfall, but to be able to have this place all to yourself, you can literally stand on the edge here, look. Look at that. This is, to be here on my own, talking to myself, standing on the bloody edge of a waterfall. What a day, what a day. If you come into Wentworth Falls, then definitely do the Weeping Rock Trail. I think everyone does just the Falls Trail that goes to obviously Wentworth Falls, but this, this is amazing. I've got it all to myself. No one's around. There's a stream running through right by me here um, that leads down to that waterfall, which you can literally stand on top of. But yeah, if you're coming to Wentworth Falls, don't skip this one. It does not get much better than this. I'm literally stood on a rock in the middle of a stream in the Blue Mountains, Australia. Couldn't have asked for a better day really. This is just amazing to be, just to be here. I don't really want to leave to be honest. Only getting a couple of hours here because Harry's dropped me off to go to work, but I think I've got a fly on my face. That's the one problem with being out in the bush or whatever you want to call it. Flies everywhere. 
They're a pain in the ass. No, but honestly, I could live here. I could honestly come back here every day and not get bored. <laughs> I'm still yet to see a snake though. I know carpet pythons are quite common, but I'm not really sure in this area. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see a snake. Probably shouldn't say that now, because I'll probably sh** myself if one slithers in front of me. But yeah, I'll keep my eyes out, because obviously it's important here. So, what's the plan for the next few weeks, months? We're planning to leave Sydney in the next two, three weeks to go and do our farm work. You have to do 88 days of farm work here in Australia to be able to get your second year visa. I probably won't stay here for another year, I'm not too sure. I think the plan is to do the farm work, which allows us to save our money a lot. And then we will then continue through Australia to finish it and then go to Asia. Do farm work, save lots of money, continue and finish Australia, then hop over to Asia and travel through that for a bit. Um, because hopefully we'll save a lot of money doing the farm work because there's not really anything around and accommodation is cheaper and obviously you're getting paid. Obviously Asia is a lot cheaper so we'll head there, explore through Asia, and then maybe Europe, maybe come back to Australia, I'm not really too sure yet. But yeah, I know I've got to be back in the UK February time for a friend's wedding. I'm going to continue going back up here because I think Harry's nearly here. So yeah, see if we see anything else along the way. So I've been needing a wee, nearly at the car park. They've put the toilets all the way up the bloody stairs. I've done enough walking. And I know to frequent walkers or hikers, I'm gonna seem extremely unfit. But it's worth it. And I'm out and doing it. That all that really matters. So hopefully I'll get fitter. And you'll stop hearing me huffing and puffing in every bloody hike video. These toilets are amazed to get to. I've come up and now I'm going back down again. The Lord. So I'm nearly at the car park now. There's not a huge deal left to show. I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, subscribe. Helps me and makes my day. And maybe I can afford a gym bus. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. When we leave Sydney, we we're going to hire a van to then drive up to Brisbane and then go to the farm from there. It's about a three hour drive from Brisbane to the farm. So we want to hire our own one. So if anyone has a camper van, they want to lend us, then yeah, let me know.